This is the Brabus Rocket, what you might call a rather fast family car. It can do 227 miles an hour. Brabus genetically re-engineer a humble Mercedes CLS to produce a monster. New suspension, bigger brakes, carbon fibre body parts and a twin turbocharged 6.3 litre engine that produces 730 horsepower. No Ferrari, Lamborghini or Pagani hypercar is as fast. And the price of this insanity? Well, it's yours for £237,000. Now, we need a straightish piece of road with no speed limits, full of drivers with immaculate lane discipline. Oh, yes, one of the safest places to go Banzai, the German Autobahn. Now, the first impression you get with this uh, Brabus rocket is it doesn't actually feel anything other than a standard CLS. OK, it's got some trim changes, it's a little bit more sporty, a little bit more sexy inside. But it drives very well, it's comfortable, it's refined, it's slightly harder, but not that much. The performance numbers, well, they're nothing short of staggering. 60 comes up in under four seconds, but amazingly, you get 120 miles an hour in 10 seconds. It's like a bloody rocket. Well, it is one. You know, we're doing, what, 86 miles an hour now. You get on the loud pedal, and off you go. Uh, 130 miles an hour already, 150, 160, 170 miles an hour, right that. Almost unbelievably, that 170 was absolutely effortless, so how easy is 200? 136, 40, 50, 60. Suddenly, the car stopped sounding so good, and it lost a lot of its top-end power. Feels like the turbo pressure pipe. A Brabus repair team was scrambled to diagnose the problem. Well, I'd hoped for a quick fix. But it just wasn't to be. Whatever's gone wrong simply can't be fixed on the side of an autobahn in a lay-by. It would have easily, easily topped 210. So close. The beast was taken home with its tailpipes between its legs, and we thought that was that. But after a bit of sweet talking, they agreed to send us out a second car. So, just when we thought it was all over, we've got another chance to get in the 200 mile an hour club. <sighs> I'm gonna chill out. After half an hour of psyching myself up, the replacement arrived and we headed back to the autobahn. It's getting a bit late in the day, so the traffic's starting to build up, so we need to find ourselves a bit of uh, clear tarmac. Again. Got 730 horsepower. I want to use it. So, 170. Oh, the tension was building. Not only was traffic a major issue, but we had a flight to catch. I was only going to get one stab at it, so it was time to shut up and concentrate on getting the job done. Discretion is the better part of valour, and we decided not to bowl through the growing traffic like skittles. 200 would have to wait for another day. A 230.